Welcome back to the GSMC Hockey Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. We're back with our fifth and final segment of the night talking about ranking the top 20 best NHL prospects. And I do have a graphic for this. <clears throat> so these are my personal rankings, top 20 best prospects. Uh, very subjective. You guys can disagree with me. I would love to hear it in the comments below. No problems with that whatsoever. Uh, so if you do have a differing opinion on maybe I missed the guy, whatever it is, leave it down below. But this is my personal rankings. So we're going to get right into this, talking about uh, the first one, Beckett, Seneca. I couldn't, I, I, I tried so hard to leave him off my list, because uh, I just don't think that he is that great of a prospect. But he was number three overall in this past draft, and when we're talking about the prospects, like, it can't, like, I have probably five or six guys from this draft, uh, maybe not five or six, but I do have a good amount of guys. I mean, you see Berkeley Catton right there, and on the other side, there are uh, a lot of other prospects too um, that go into this from this draft. I think that there is a total of five prospects from this past draft here. Um, I could have probably added more, but Beckett Seneca absolutely is deserving of a top 20 spot because he's number three overall the ducks believed in him enough to put to take him at that spot so i'll believe in the ducks is scouts who you know are paid to do the, the job and i'm not it just makes sense <clears throat> next up is the columbus blue jackets defensive prospect denton matechuk he had a fantastic season last year uh playing in the memorial cup going all the way to the finals of the memorial cup i believe his uh team did uh i believe they did lose out in the memorial cup uh finals but he had a fantastic season was around a point per game last year and this you know He's a little bit undersized, but I believe that the Columbus Blue Jackets believe that he will make a difference next season. Uh, he will, for sure, at least play in the AHL for them. Maybe he'll do what kind of David Yerchek did for the Blue Jackets this past year and um, split time in the A and the NHL. Uh, but, you know, only time will tell. Uh, for Denton Matejchuk, he is very skillful. One of the more skillful defensive prospects we have in the NHL right now. Um, and I believe on the puck, he will uh, do things that we haven't really seen from uh, young defensemen, really. So he's 19. Uh, there are three Blue Jackets prospects here, and that's with a lot of their guys graduating last season. So very impressive, the Blue Jackets uh, prospect pool. But they just need to produce in the NHL, and we don't know if they actually will. Next up, San Jose Sharks. Quentin Musty here. I believe the Sharks also have a good uh, bit of guys here um, with Quentin Musty. Uh, he is a fantastic, fantastic prospect uh, for the Sharks. Played very well in juniors last season. Uh, we'll see what that looks like for next year for the San Jose Sharks. Number 17, I have Oliver Moore, who is a fantastic prospect. Um as well oliver moore had a great season in juniors i actually want to make sure that i get this right um that i so he plays for the minnesota uh for the university of minnesota he was fantastic with jimmy snuggerud a uh, first round a former first round pick for the san st louis blues but oliver moore was one of the more exciting players in uh all of the ncaa uh he, of course he was taken um, what draft was he taken in? Let me make sure I get this correct here. Um, I need, I do need to make sure he was taken in the 20, he was taken in last year's draft by the Chicago Blackhawks, uh, which I was pretty sure of, but wanted to make sure I got it correct, but has always been a good prospect, took 19th overall, and he really blossomed this past season playing with Jimmy Snuggerud and uh, the defenseman that I keep blanking on. He was a freshman last year, um, but I got to see him up close. I got to see uh, Minnesota as I was the Ohio State men's ice hockey beat writer, as I d have mentioned on the podcast previously. Um, got to see Oliver Moore, and he really does stand out. That might be why he's up so high. Next up, Berkeley Catton. Uh, just drafted 8th overall this past season to the Seattle Kraken. Uh, Berkeley Catton has a lot, a lot of upsides. Out of the WHL this past season, uh, 
we we saw him a couple years ago as one of the best playmakers in this draft, and then he went off and scored about 30 to 40 goals this past year, doing something that I didn't think he had in his game. Proved me wrong. He's deserving of this uh, of the 16th pick. He'll be back in the dub next season. Uh, I'm pretty sure of it, as the Kraken like to go a little bit slow with their prospects, as Shane Wright's the next one that we'll be talking about. Uh, but Berkeley Cat in fantastic prospect he'll be in the nhl sooner than later and he will be making an impact i believe that wholeheartedly uh next up will be shane wright at 15th uh the uh the guy that's played on the coachella Fire- firebirds for a little bit too long now uh shane wright can make an impact in the nhl next season i think he absolutely will was you know exceptional status prospect played for the kingston frontenacs um he just slipped in 2022 down the board a little bit with uh with the top three being uh different than what everybody expected it being with Yurash Lavkovsky, Simon Nemec, and then I do forget who was third in that draft. Uh, that's just escaping my mind right now. But goes fourth to the Seattle Kraken. Uh, will be able to produce in the NHL eventually. I truly believe that. Uh, next season, I can't wait to see what he does. Um, as the Calder race next season uh, is going to be very interesting. Next up, Zach Benson, a uh, prospect for the Buffalo Sabres from the Winnipeg, um, from the Win- Winnipeg, uh, the Winnipeg team in the WHL, I- Ice Caps, that's it, the Winnipeg Ice Caps. Uh, he is a fantastic forward prospect for the Buffalo Sabres. We'll be able to produce next season. I fully expect him to be on their uh, NHL roster come t- come this time next year. Next up, Matthew Savoy, I believe, also formerly from the uh, from the Whitecaps as well. Uh, Matthew Savoy will be a fantastic. Uh, or Winnipeg Ice, it's just Ice, not Ice Caps. Will be another fantastic piece for this Buffalo Sabres core as. Uh, I do kind of stick to picking back-to-back as it's uh, Berkeley Cat and Shane Wright back-to-back cracking and then back-to-back uh, Buffalo Sabres here with Zach Benson and Matthew Savoy. Uh, last season in the WHL uh, for the Moose Jaw Warriors, had 47 points in 23 games played, was a little injured last year, and was kind of bounced around. Um, uh, he played for four different teams last year, played for the uh Went at Touch Wild, played for the Buffalo Sabres, played for the Rochester American for a little bit before getting sent down to the Moose Jaw Warriors, uh, where he did play some fantastic hockey. 47 points in 23 games played. This guy's ready to be a Sabre and will be next season. Next up, a David Reinbacker, defensive prospect for the Montreal Canadiens, will be playing on that Montreal team next season. I believe he played another year in juniors last year, but will be ready to go next season to help out that core. That's still probably a year or two away from being able to compete in the Atlantic, but to give him a couple of years under his belt before they get to competing will be very good for him. Next up, Frank Nazar, a fantastic one-two punch with Connor Bedard in Chicago. Now they add even more pieces uh, to that uh, fantastic core with the number two overall pick this past uh, in this past draft, which we will be talking about a little bit later. Uh, but as far forwards go, I think the Chicago Blackhawks are very, very much set with Oliver Moore and Frank Nazar. They're going to be very happy with their forward group and prospect pool. The Blackhawks have one of the best ones, and it's really helped out by Frank Nazar. Uh, next up, we're going to our top 10 now. Uh, Owen Zellweger from the Anaheim Ducks, another defensive prospect that is absolutely fantastic. One of the best defensive prospects that the NHL has to offer. I have him at number 10. Number 9, Ivan Demidov, the third guy from the 2024 NHL Draft. Uh, he's just a couple of years away from being able to play in the NHL, so that's why I have him a little bit lower. As far as, you know, skill and talent-wise, he's probably up around that top three or four, but I do have him a little bit further back because, you know, he just it won't be in the NHL for a little while, and I do want to see how he plays in the KHL opposed to the MHL. 
Caden Lindstrom's number eight. The uh, fourth guy from this 2024 draft, Caden Lindstrom, Blue Jackets number fourth overall pick. I have him above Ivan Demidov by one spot because he went above Ivan Demidov by one spot. And I do believe that Caden Lindstrom is a better all-around prospect. He has a fantastic two-way game. We saw that for the Medicine Hat Tigers. And I think we're going to see it again next season as it does seem apparent that he will be back in the, um, back in the WHL for another year. David Yerchek is my next guy. Another Blue Jacket, the third Blue Jacket on this list here. Yerchek is going to be a fantastic, fantastic defenseman in the NHL. He flashed last season at times, but the Blue Jackets elected to keep him in the American Hockey League with the Cleveland Monsters for a little bit, and it did, it did help his development a lot. Next up, Cutter, Cutter Gauthier for the Anaheim Ducks uh, will be a fantastic forward prospect when he gets his time he'll be in the nhl next season and i can't wait to see how he does play when he does get a chance as he did slip down the board a little bit in 2023 but i do believe that it's a fantastic prospect there in cutter gochia will smith fifth uh from boston university uh played alongside macklin celebrini last uh season and it looked very very uh just elite overall will smith number five he will be playing uh with macklin celebrini on the um will be playing with macklin celebrini on the san jose sharks uh or sorry will smith played in boston college macklin celebrini played boston university i get those schools mixed up all the time but we'll be playing with each other now uh played against each other throughout their collegiate careers um a little correction there but arden Levshinov number four going to the chicago blackhawks uh i why do i pronounce that so chicagoan uh but anyways uh going to the chicago blackhawks for artem Levshinov, he is a fantastic defensive prospect he is the second best defensive prospect on the board um i'm excited to see what he does look like when he does get a chance at the nhl as i believe he will crack into the blackhawks ro- ro- uh, roster next season uh playing alongside kevin korchinski will be very very elite and i'm excited for Simo Nemec, another defensive prospect here at number third, the New Jersey Devils prospect, number two overall in that 2022 class. Um, we'll be able to prove it this next season, and I'm excited to see how that uh, looks. Macklin Celebrini, number two, a, I mean, number one overall this past draft. We we talked about him so much. If you guys want to, want to see my breakdown more on Macklin Celebrini, uh, look back at my mock drafts um, that I did these past month. He's fantastic. I'm excited to see what he looks like uh, when he does play in the NHL. And then number one, Matt Bay Mishkov, who just signed the deal with the Philadelphia Flyers to play in the NHL next season. That's some exciting things for Philadelphia. That's going to be a fantastic prospect. Uh, and a huge addition to that team where uh, for a while there, it was up in, up, up in the air when, when he would be playing in the NHL. And it does seem like it's going to be next season, and I'm very excited for Matt Bay-Minchikov. So he gets the number one spot in my top 20 prospects in the NHL. We'll keep this updated throughout the season, but that'll wrap it up for this Friday edition of the GSMC Hockey Podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, it does uh, it does mean a lot, the support. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, like and follow us on YouTube. Uh, make sure you rate us on whatever you're listening to this podcast on whether that's spotify apple podcast uh, whatever platform you are listening to this on it is much appreciated and as always if you want to keep up with the content uh, that with the content from the gsmc sports network follow us on tiktok twitter facebook and instagram as well thank you all one more time for tuning in we do appreciate it all of you guys have a fantastic evening and have a fantastic weekend Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of 